Oh. Uh, Call of Duty's new update. It's cool. Brings cool camos like this one. But it also has that rat skin. And the map isn't great. It's from the campaign. I mean, it's alright, but... Put in some new maps. It's not great. The update is pretty good, though, in my opinion. It has more stuff than usual with updates. It's got to be one of the best updates we've had in a while. With three new camos. Um, one of them being the camo that I already showed you. Two new weapons, which is the Tech 9 from Cold War. I mean, yeah, Cold War. And then the other gun is just a full auto deagle, which I don't know why they couldn't just put it as an attachment. I feel like that would be better to just put it as an attachment. That's what they did with the Tech 9 in Cold War. They put it as an attachment, then it would be full auto since it was semi automatic. Like, I don't know what Call of Duty is doing with these updates. This one is decently good, but, and now I'm hearing that. The next Call of Duty is going to be Modern Warfare 3. It, like, didn't like they say that they're taking a break from making games for a year? And then there's going to be another Warzone on in Season 1. Like, we just got a new Warzone. The new Call of Duty, that's like normal for Call of Duty to release every year. But like, it's not normal for them to release two of the same title games from the same franchise, like two Modern Warfare games in a row. Like, I'm sorry, I don't, I'm gonna probably get the game because it's M Modern Warfare, it's my favorite Call of Duty series, but, like, make a new Black Ops, or wasn't there a rumor that Advanced Warfare was getting a sequel? I actually would like that. I didn't play much of the original, but I think it I think that would be a great idea instead of just Modern Warfare 3.